Today I am opening up day seven of my Bon Maman advent calendar. So let's open door number seven. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. It is pineapple passion fruit spread. That sounds really good, very tropical. I am going to be making pineapple passion fruit glazed fish. So I have a bag of haddock here. Um, this was in my freezer and this is fresh fish that was caught locally um, in September. So I've had it in my freezer a few months. Figure I better use it. Um, this was caught off the coast of Cape Cod by a friend of the family. And I have my pineapple passion fruit spread from my advent calendar and then I have some butter. I'm going to be cooking the fish in my dash 8 inch griddle which I have heating up right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the fish right in there. It usually fits about two pieces. So there's the fish. I like to rinse it off before I put it in here. And I'm just gonna cover that and we'll be back in like four minutes to check on it. While the fish is cooking, I am going to make the glaze and I'm gonna use this fruit spread, which I actually want to taste first. It's gonna taste a little bit of it. It tastes like pineapple. It tastes like, um. It reminds me of like a pineapple upside down cake. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon of this because I'm only making one piece of fish with this on it right now. If I was going to make two pieces, I would use uh, the entire uh, the entire little jar. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter. The butter's nice and soft because it's been sitting on the counter. And I just want to I want to mix this together, almost making like a pineapple butter. And then I'm just going to spread this on my fish after it's done cooking. And this will melt nicely over the fish. And it'll make a nice uh, a nice little sauce for it, like a nice little glaze. I love butter on white fish. Um, I don't know why, but that's just been my thing recently. I used to like cocktail sauce with my fish. Um, but lately I just love butter um, on like cod or flounder or this haddock. So yeah, so this looks really good. Okay, so let's check on the fish. It's been about four minutes. Be really careful because it is steaming hot. I'm going to take the knife uh, that I just cut the butter with. This is done. This looks like it's done. See how, it, how flaky that is? And let's look at this side. Both sides look, look like they're done. So that is good. I'm going to get a spatula and then I'm going to put these on a plate. This one's falling apart a little bit, but that's fine. You can put butter or oil on the griddle if you want. This fish has skin on the bottom, uh, so when I eat it, I just eat it off of the skin. Um, so I put it skin side down. So here's my fish. It is still piping hot. You can see the steam coming off of it. So I'm just going to take this pineapple butter and put it on the fish and it'll melt nicely. This will really melt nicely on the fish. It's already just pouring off of it. It looks so good, my mouth is watering. getting every last bit out of that little bowl. Mm. 
I want every part of the fish to be covered. That looks really good. So good, I can't wait to taste it. So this is all I've put on it, some butter and that fruit spread. Let's taste this. This is so good, so good. Oh my gosh. Let's try another piece. I love this glaze. It is so buttery and then it's like tropical with the pineapple. It definitely reminds me of like um, pineapple upside down cake. It is so good in the sweetness of the pineapple. I feel like I'm on vacation. I just pick off um, whatever whatever part of the skin that sticks to the fish. I just, I just pick it off. Um, I feel like I need some kind of rice with this. Rice and a vegetable and it'd be perfect. Yeah, I feel like I'm in Florida. This is something that I would, that I would eat in Florida. Not necessarily haddock, but the same kind of tropical flavors on fish. So good. Yeah, rice and a green vegetable, and that would be a an awesome meal. So I am going to enjoy this fish. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.